So you want to embed a tweet on your site without sacrificing on performance. Historically, this has been kind of hard. For example, even looking at this Twitter recommendation of how to embed tweets, when you reload the page, there's all this layout shift and jank because it's using an iframe to actually inject this tweet embed inside of the page. And further, it's loading a lot of additional client-side JavaScript that really isn't needed. It would be great if we could statically generate this tweet to make the performance of our site much faster. Well, a while ago, the team at Vercel created this demo of how you could reverse engineer the Twitter embed and actually statically generate a tweet, helping you get that performance that you're looking for without needing to use an iframe. This was a great demo, but up until now, there wasn't a good abstraction over this demo that allowed you to one, embed the tweet into your website, and two, also work with the latest Twitter API changes. So I'm really excited to announce a new NPM package that the Vercel team has created called React Tweet. This takes that abstraction and bundles it into an NPM package that you can install and use in any React application, whether that's inside of Next.js, whether you're using server components or not, whether it's in Vite or Create React app, anywhere you can run React, you can use React Tweet. And critically, this doesn't require that you have to use the Twitter API. So no API keys are needed to get started with this library. For example, we can see a demo here where I've added the ID for this tweet and I can statically generate this version, whether it's the light mode or dark mode version, it's aware of the theme that we're using. And I can also go to my profile and just pick a random ID here and generate this dynamically on the fly in this demo. So what does this actually look like for using it inside of your code? Well, it's pretty easy thanks to the powerful React component abstraction. So I import tweet from React tweet, and then I can use that tweet inside of my application whether it's in a server component, in a client component, or in client-only solutions like Vite or Create React App. This library provides a bunch of other neat things too, like access to the underlying API used to generate the tweets, or even being able to define custom themes to style how your tweets look depending on your website. For example, these tweets on the dub.sh website are customized and tweet to match the brand of dub, all possible through the powerful React tweet abstraction. So if you want to try this out, head over to react-tweet.vercel.app or npmi react-tweet to get started today. We'd love to hear your feedback on what you'd like to see us add or what we can do better in this library. Let us know down in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well give us a subscribe and a thumbs up as well too. And we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.